Hey my friends, what's up? How's everybody doing? This is going to be a quick video. I just want to comment on J.K. Rowling. In the process of this video, if I sound a little groggy, y'all going to have to forgive me. I'm just getting over a cold, but the worst parts of it are gone, so this video should come out pretty good. But anyway, just to comment on this issue about J.K. Rowling and these refugees. She says it has to be one of the biggest hypocrites on the planet. I mean, it's just one of those many issues I have with a lot of liberals, you know. If they would only follow through on certain things they say, I would take them a lot more seriously. But the problem with J.K. Rowling is, she's talking about these refugees and how we should bring more of them into our countries. But look at the mansions she has. Look at the properties she has. She has like, what, like eight properties? Like eight mansions or so. And they have tons and tons of acres on them. One of them has like 18 rooms that can hold. At least one of them I think has like 18 rooms that can hold a ton of refugees in them. And she hasn't said one word about letting those refugees in her house. In any of her mansions. I mean I just don't get it. She's just going on virtue signaling left and right. Talking about the importance of helping these people, but it doesn't seem like she's interested in lifting the finger to do any of it herself. And Mike Sonovich actually called her out on her on this. He said, look, I'll pay out of my own money, he said, for 100 refugees to be housed in one of her houses. He's going to pay out of his own money to do it. And he called her out on it, and what did she say? Nothing. Had absolutely no response. It just goes back to this idea that if these liberals, you know, truly believe in what they say they do, maybe people will start actually taking them more seriously. But the problem is, they don't follow up on what they say quite often. And then when they get they called out on it, then either they're dead silent like J.K. Rowling was, or then they'll try to spin it and turn it around on everybody else. I mean, this is really, really not arguable. It doesn't matter what side you're on. If you are a liberal and you truly believe in helping refugees, and, and I, well, hope, first of all, I gotta just make it very clear that, you know, being libertarian or conservative doesn't mean you don't care about the refugee situation. You don't care about refugees. I mean, it, the problem is, is that um, we have borders for a reason. And the issue is, is that if your main household is facing a lot of problems and challenges themselves, then you're not going to be able to bear the burden of other people um, coming into your country either. If you, why in the world are you trying to help fix everybody else if you ain't fixed home yet? A lot of these liberals talking about you know, oh, how much they would help refugees left and right are the same sorts of people that wouldn't, that would uh, leave their doors locked at night. They wouldn't just let any old person on the street into a home. I'm not saying any of them would, wouldn't, but it seems to me the overwhelming majority of them wouldn't. They lock their doors at night like most sensible people do. So we defend our borders in the same sort of way. I mean, these are the same liberals that complain about us going over to other countries and invading their lands. And um, meddling in business that don't belong, that um, us meddling in business where it doesn't belong with us doing it. But at the same time, we're expected to bear the burden that other countries put on to us. So they don't want us going over you know, interfering in other people's business. But other countries can put people on us and interfere in our business. You see the hypocrisy here? But again, if J.K. Rowling and other liberals would do something as simple as, you know, putting people into the house, especially these top elitist liberals with millions to billions of dollars, if they would just do what they say they would believe in or they claim to believe in and stop virtue signaling left and right, then maybe I start, maybe me and most people start taking them seriously, but 
they just don't get it. They just these people don't live in reality. These people don't live in the real world. I mean, J.K. Rowling has like what? What? She's like a net worth of a billion plus. And imagine if she took even a tenth of that, a tenth of her money would feed tons and tons of refugees for like four to five years plus. If she only took a tenth of that, I bet. I haven't really gotten into the mathematics and all that stuff, but um, I'm just kind of, you know, shooting off the top of my head. But I'm pretty certain it will take care of a whole lot of people for a long time. But it's just the typical liberal hypocrisy of as a, do as I say, not as I do. J.K. Rowling, you need to stop being a hypocrite and start, stop pontificating your virtue signaling to everybody else because... The fact of the matter is, you just want to look good in front of your Hollywood peers. You don't live in a world like um, the rest of us who don't have anywhere near the same money you do. And we are working our tails off every day to make a dollar. And um, we continue to bear the burdens of um, hypocritical liberals like you who's constantly um, passing off this do as I say, not as I do mentality on everybody else. It'll be us bearing most of the burden of these refugees, not you. You won't have a single refugee house in any of your homes. And it'll be us bearing most of the burden with our tax dollars. And um, in our immediate um, neighborhoods to where um, you may be dealing with um, refugees who are criminals and who will try to do all sorts of messed up things. It's not like you um, elitist liberals live in these super, um, um, in these middle, I should say middle class neighborhoods to where you're as likely to encounter, you know, these sorts of people. Y'all live in these like upscale neighborhoods, not pretty much separated from the rest of the world. In fact, J.K. Rowling has like what? Walls surrounding her, I think, and if not, at least one, if not all her mansions, she has these big walls and trees surrounding her mansions. So she has no room to pontificate to anyone about um, morals and, you know, helping these refugees. These people don't live in the real world. I mean, this is the hypocrisy of these liberal folks. So, J.K. Rowling, you need to stop um, just virtue signaling to everybody else. You just need to stop just talking out your backside and actually do what you say you believe in and stop um, expecting everybody else to bear the burden for your beliefs and that's pretty much all I want to say so I appreciate y'all for watching and you know, I have to apologize this cold has been kicking my butt but um, I'm getting through it and it should I should be over it in the next two or three days but anyway thanks for watching Please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care. As always, God bless and peace.